We just ran over to Disney Springs because Disney has a preview of the new pins that are going to be at the official pin trading event in September. Let's go ahead inside and check out the pins. And here's the little setup. They usually do it here, so we've been waiting for this to show up. They even have details for the event. I'm so excited. It's in September, and hopefully we get some tickets. But look at all these epic pins that they're previewing. First of all, they've got an epic jumbo pin. There are so many characters on there, even Stitch and Tinkerbell, which is super interesting. When the event first got announced, everyone thought it was going to be specifically villains, but this preview tells us that it is not only going to be villains. It's anything that is Disney after dark, because if you look in the case over here, there is a bunch of different pins, such as Goofy in front of the Epcot ball at night. So it's a bunch of pins at night. But they definitely included a lot of villains too, so it's going to be exciting to see everything else that's going to be in there. This is making me want to read Kingdom Keepers again, which is when you go to the parks at night. It's super fun. They've got the cutest little stitch hugging ghost down here, and it's sparkly. I really need that one. And then taking a look at this lanyard, so I looked at the back. There's no price on the back, which means it's not a lanyard set. This is just a sample of what's most likely going to be a mystery box. So there's some really great pins on there. Ugh. There's the nighttime fireworks castle, the dwarf, which is really cool I on the mine tray. The dwarf one. I like the oogie boogie. I saw a picture yeah. of him online, but I didn't realize he's got a couple layers to him, so he's a nice looking pin. There's the goofy Epcot ball figment, and probably one of my favorites, who's a little hidden there. But look at the Hades at the bottom. That is a really nice pin, especially so with detailed. all the layers. And then the enamel that's like different colors on his uh, shirt there, that looks so cool. So far, I am the most excited about this set. Look at that Rapunzel pin. I am obsessed with that. And there's a Jasmine, Aristocats, and Lion King. They're all so detailed. Yeah, I can tell you that that set is definitely going to be one to sell out because it is a limited edition of 300, so that's going to be a very popular that one. That makes me so nervous. And then looking at the back side of the boxes, they don't have the prices listed on them. This one's the Evo Queen, and it's a limited edition of 500. And then the After Dark Super Jumbo is a LE 300. The Stitch I Can Ghost is one that I really want to know the edition size of, but I can't see the back side of it. That box. It is kind of interesting. So the backer card for that one, they actually made it look like it's a cork board. And these ones are like stone because they're evil. Except that one. I don't know why that one. I do expect there to be a lot more pins that are revealed at a later date. Uh, but so far, from what we've been able to see, these pins are going to be really great. Well, we are definitely really looking forward to this event. And they actually chose this date because the day before, which is check-in day, check-in day is September 13th, a spooky day for some spooky pins. But they have not announced the day that tickets go on sale, so we are still anxiously awaiting that to happen. Speaking of the event, though, I need some ideas for what to wear. I want to wear, like, a fun Disney After Dark outfit. Nick kind of already has, like, a t-shirt he's going to wear. Oh, yeah, I got some cool Hades stuff. So Hades, but what should I do? I kind of want to do like some fun t-shirts. It's hot here, so don't expect too much, but I do want to do something fun. Princess Shannon with the breaking news. Okay, we returned back from Disney Springs and Disney has actually updated their website with more information on the event. Finally, we get to know what's gonna happen. So now we know ticket prices, they're gonna be $129 for the base package and for the premium package, it's 250. What do you get with the premium package? Is it any different this year? Last year they added in a bonus pin and you got an extra hour of trading, which during that first hour you can do the most amount of trades because uh, the lines are so much shorter. So you get like a whole day's worth of trading in in that first hour. It's basically VIP. We tried to get it last year, but... It sold out before we could get it. Wish us luck this year. In addition to the information, they also released the catalog with the full list of pins that are coming out. And hopefully we can get the ones that we want because at this event, usually you have to join an RSP. Yeah, which is just like a, it's like a lottery system. You just put your name in for a chance to have the opportunity to purchase the pin. And not everyone's able to get everything they want, but you will get some stuff. That's why last year, the Donald one was super popular. Yeah, that was the most popular pin from last year. It was the Donald pin trading little button uh, in him with a pin board. Not a lot of people got it. Yeah, it was limited edition of 500. It now has a value of around $300. So it was definitely a popular one. We took a quick look at the new pins that are coming. I was so excited about so many. They're always so creative with them. This year they have some black light ones and it comes with a flashlight. 
There's a really big puzzle one, which is a castle with a bunch of different pieces, and then there's hinges that open up, and it looks like it's blacklight too. Dang, that one, that one has some details. So that's gonna be a very popular puzzle at the event. They highlighted a bunch of different characters, like Hades, Hercules, Yzma. Oh, there's a Peter Pan one. And they've got some parks ones, which are like the parks at night, and each one has a different character. Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Chip and Dale, Goofy. These ones are cute. I am so excited about the Seven Dwarves one. Yeah, so we saw that one on the lanyard. It was a nice big pin. And I guess, is this a spinner? Yeah, so it's I a spinner. I didn't even notice that. Like, I didn't see that Yeah, I, I couldn't see that in person either. And there's like different dwarves on each one, so, but it's a single pin. And a day one is d dopey. And then the night, like, who? I'm interested to see how that one works, but I'm definitely getting that one, hopefully. Oh, well, we'll put on our RSP. <laughs> and the Alice one, there's an Alice one just like that on the teacups. Uh, it looks like there's a bunch of different Parks ones with different characters, like there's a Stitch. There's actually a lot of Stitch for this event. Yeah, this is gonna be a popular series right here. There's a Stitch attraction takeover with Scrump, and they're in little outfits of the different rides. We saw the Doom Buggy as one of the preview ones, and it's sparkly. I'm obsessed with that one so much. <laughs> Got some more Disney Villains clusters. These ones are pretty epic. Yeah, so we saw the Evil Queen, but take a look at Scar. That, that one looks amazing. Scar and Ursula. The Gaston one is kind of similar to um, some pins they've come out in the past. Yeah, it looks just like the artifully evil uh, Gaston. Disney villain castle takeover? Oh, okay. These are cool. I really like the Maleficent one. We saw the Hades one, so we know they're kind of like mini jumbos. But, oh, and the Chernabog. That one's going to be popular. Those are cool. They're really detailed, so I think that goes into the price for those. Um, there's a jumbo one. Uh, <laughs> Nick is not loving that there's a year on it. <laughs> it, oh, it yeah, you know, it would have been so much better if they did not put 2024 on it. At but... least it's not like a huge 2024. So I can, like, the small one's fine because, I mean, the event did happen in 2024. Well, it's supposed to. Oh, these are lanterns. Okay, I thought these were potions when I first saw them, but they're lanterns. Those are kind of cool. Oh, there's a Tower of Terror one. What's the middle one? Is it Pirates? Oh, it's Pirates, oh, yeah. Pirates, cool. Of course, the Disney movie moments. I'm obsessed with those. They're a hundred. A hundred for all four. Iconic nighttime Disney movie moments number two. These ones, these ones look pretty. And then this series, this one looks very similar to the uh, windows of Main Street they uh, they had. Maybe they saw that they did well, and so they're like, we'll just make some villains ones. Um, I think they're cool. And there, it looks like there's a nighttime and a daytime one. Oh, okay. There's an orange bird. Is that orange bird? Oh. Ooh, orange bird. That one's going to be popular. You guys, they did Electrical Parade. I love Electrical Parade. That's one of my all-time favorite parades or things in the parks. The music, so good. These are gonna be so pretty. Yeah, I was oh really surprised God. to see that in there, but. Limited edition 250. Yes, but it does have a higher price tag, so maybe you'll have a better shot to get it. Yeah, because usually when they have those smaller editions, they are gonna be tougher to get. How big is it? It's five by five inches, basically, so. Should be a, a good size like this. Does it glow in the dark? It kind of looks, looks like It looks like that. it would. Black light ink. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, if you have black light, then it will glow. Also kind of low limited edition. But this is one of the most intriguing things they had on there. You guys remember the Tiny Kingdoms where they have a map and you put the pins on the map? It's like a villain's version of it. That's really cool. I think the castle goes in the middle too. Yeah, so if you buy the map, it comes with the castle for the middle. And then there is tiny mystery boxes. Tiny little villains. So instead of attractions and stuff like that that the uh, Tiny Kingdoms have been, now it's tiny villains. And so, it's... yeah, they're a lot like those cute ones that they've come out with for, like, the Hidden Mickeys and the, like, um, open editions, but they're tiny, so people still want them because they're tiny. So it says in the mystery boxes you're going to get three pins in each mystery box, so I don't think the pairs come together. I think you have to find them separately is kind of what it's looking like to me. Because it wouldn't make sense if there's three pins in there. 
yeah. then you get a matching pair and then something else. Unless the sidekick is attached. No, I don't think it is. Dang, I guess we'll see for that one. Got some Disney nighttime mystery pins. Oh, these are the mystery ones. Okay. A bunch of different characters in there. Yeah, it's kind of funny how they're like bean shaped. <laughs> yeah, they're, they remind me of beans. And of course, the castle puzzle mystery set with the hinges. This year, they're going to have vending machines that you can buy the pins and like you can pay to get them. Yeah, last year, they gave everyone two free pins out of the vending machines. They're doing the same thing. I think it said one for a regular ticket. And if you buy the top tier ticket, you get two free plays. So you can uh, buy them now. You can buy plays. But yeah, before you did not have the option to purchase more. Now you have the option to purchase more. There will be lines for that, for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Vending machines and like claw machines, they just get me. I need them. But I guess we've got to we've got to start saving up money for all those kids. Hopefully it is we get definitely a little bit of an expensive event. It's but... also like you don't even know if you'll get them. But luckily, with pin trading, pin trading, you can trade for them. So. <laughs> but anyways, there we got a lot to look forward to now. Hopefully, we can secure our tickets because that is the most important thing. Wish us luck for that. But anyways, that's gonna be all for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed coming along. And if you did, be sure to leave us a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Have a magical day.